Hello, this is a lesson for enzymes in digestion, but let's do a quick recap of the labels of the parts of the digestive system. So we have the mouth, followed by the gullet or the esophagus, then the stomach. This little part here is the pancreas. We have the small intestine, then the rectum, that's the anus, we then have the large intestine there. Right at the top in the left is the liver. And just behind the liver, there's a little structure called the gall bladder. Okay, so that's a recap of the parts of, that, of the digestive system. And you should know the labels on those, so do look over those if you're not quite sure. But for today, we're gonna to look at the enzymes in digestion, the enzymes that help digest food. So let's just highlight that. There we go. So what we're going to do is look at a small animation to look at the digestion of carbohydrates. So here is a long chain carbohydrate molecule, for example, starch. Our enzyme is in pink there, and that enzyme will break up the starch into smaller parts. And these parts we call sugars. But it doesn't end there. We can break them down into smaller parts still. So a different enzyme can be used. There's that different enzyme there in a kind of uh, orangey pink color, breaking down those double units into single units or single parts. Okay, so when we've done those two bits of breaking down with enzymes, we now have simple sugars, small molecules, which can be absorbed into the blood, and there they are. So this is how enzymes, or one particular type of enzyme, the carbohydrase enzymes, break down carbohydrates. So let's just make a little note of that, plus the other enzymes that we're going to look at. So here we've got a little diagram of the digestive system, but we can ignore that for now. We've got our carbohydrates there, those kind of chains that we just looked at. And one example of that is starch. So starch is an example of a carbohydrate found in potatoes. So there's some potatoes. And these are broken down, as we said, into simple sugars. Simple sugars. And the enzymes, or the enzyme that is responsible for this, is what we call carbohydrase. It's actually a bunch of enzymes that we can use carbohydrates for now. So carbohydrates will break down carbohydrates into simple sugars. There's our carbohydrate, carbohydrate, broken down by carbohydrates into our simple sugars. Next, we have the proteins, and examples of food with proteins are shown there. So there's our protein chains. If we just look at one of the chains, it looks a bit similar to our carbohydrates, but the actual individual parts are different shapes. There's two examples of food with protein in. And these are broken down also by enzymes, but these are called protease enzymes. Protease enzymes. There we go. Important to highlight that. And that will break down the proteins into smaller units called amino acids a very important uh, key term that you should know and remember. They're broken down into amino acids. So proteins broken down by protease enzymes into amino acids. The last one we want to look at is digestion of fat. So there's some butter, which is, an which is an example of something that might contain fat. And this is also broken down by enzymes as well. And we can just take a look at that. We have our lipids here. So this is a simplified version of lipid molecules. These are the fats and oils, which we've uh, discussed before. Lipids are fats and oils. And these are broken down by enzymes called lipase enzymes. Lipase enzymes, important to highlight that, important key term. And these will be broken down into parts called fatty acids. So the fatty acids are like those little wiggly chains there. So these are the fatty acids little short chains. And the other part is something called glycerol, which we can just circle there. So this is glycerol there, shown by that little rectangle. So we've got fatty acids and glycerol, which come from lipids. So it looks like there's quite a lot of information on that screen, but when you actually break it down, there's not too much. And of course, you can make a note of this on the work along sheet in the description. So let's just have a final look at where the enzymes are produced when they 
do the job of digestion. So where are they produced? We did briefly look at this in a previous video, but let's just um, take another look just to make sure we're clear. In the mouth, we produce the enzyme carbohydrates, and there's actually one particular type of enzyme produced in the mouth, and this one's called amylase. Amylase. So that's produced in the mouth. We then have the stomach, and it's very important to remember that the stomach only produces protease enzymes. It does not produce lipase or carbohydrates, protease only. So only protein is digested in the stomach. The pancreas here, this produces all three enzymes. So it will produce carbohydrates enzymes, protease enzymes, and lipase. But important to remember that although it produces those enzymes, it has to empty them into the small intestine for them to work. The small intestine down here, this will produce all three enzymes as well. Carbohydrates, protease, and lipase. And these are actually produced in the small intestine and used in the small intestine as well. Okay, so a quick rundown of enzymes in digestion, what they produce when they work on the food, and where those enzymes are produced. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.